This is a patient with recurrent thymoma in the anterior mediastinum going to the OR for a repeat excision through a sternotomy. Bilateral deep parasternal blocks were completed post-induction pre-incision for analgesia. We'll start with the ultrasound and the sagittal orientation over the sternum and slide laterally until the costal cartilages appear. Here, just right of the sternum, we see pec major, internal intercostal muscle. Somewhere down here is the transversus thoracic muscle. I don't see it. That's not unusual because it's really small. And then way down here, we have pleura. Usually the pleura is a lot closer. However, in this case, it's displaced by the thymoma and there is scarring from the previous excision. We're going to do deep approaches to these parasternal blocks and for that reason we want to see the mammary vessels in cross section so that they are more easily identifiable and we can avoid them. So we're going to turn our transducer from the sagittal to the transverse orientation. Here are those mammary vessels in short axis. We can turn on color Doppler to confirm. We'll advance lateral to medial using an in-plane approach, and once we are under the internal intercostal muscle, we will give our test injection with saline. This injection looks smooth. It's not shreddy or mottled, which would be signs that we are intramuscular and not in a fascial plane. We don't see the transversus thoracic muscle, which is usually the case. And the lung in this case is not moving that much with our injection. This is also to be expected due to scarring from the previous excision. Now that our right-sided deep parasternal block is complete, we're gonna move on to our left side. You're gonna start with a probe in the sagittal orientation over the sternum, slide a little bit laterally to identify the costal cartilages, and then we'll turn to the transverse orientation so that we can see our mammary vessels in short axis next to the sternum. You don't actually have to do it this way. You could just do a shortcut and put the probe and the transverse orientation over the sternum, find your mammary vessels in between the rib spaces and go from there. I just like to do it this way, so that's how I do it. The mammary vessels on the left are a little less clear than the ones on the right, so I will turn on color Doppler to confirm. The left lung does look healthier than the right side, and that makes sense because the thymoma occurred and then recurred in the right anterior mediastinum. Just like the other side, we are going to advance lateral to medial in plane, and once we are below the internal intercostal muscle, we see that with our chest injection of saline, the pleura depresses really nicely. We don't see the transversus thoracic muscle, and we're not surprised. We're going to switch to our local anesthetic administer that. And then once that is complete, we have finished our bilateral deep parasternal blocks.